Welcome back to Awful Movie Reviews. Greetings, my friend. Since this is a channel where I review terrible movies, I thought that it would be very appropriate to review what has been dubbed the worst movie ever made. I'm not sure I want to find out. Yes, people, this is the infamous Plan 9 from Outer Space. But is it really the worst movie ever made? That's this week's big question. Now, my straight up answer is no because it's way too memorable and funny in order to be called the worst movie ever made. Now, don't get me wrong, this movie is really bad, but it's the big fish of the so bad it's good flicks. It's part of those movies that we love to hate. The thing is that it's extremely poorly made. It's too bad, it must be handled this way. We get cardboard cutout gravestones that move when touched. We can see at the top the boom mic when the light flashes on the actors. And by the way, the plane controls are also cardboard cutouts. We get bloopers like these. Need a hand there, buddy? But I'd say that the worst production aspect was the day and night contrast. Some scenes were shot in broad daylight, while others were shot in a studio. Which means that during one same scene, on the same location, we can go from this... ...to this. And the whole movie is shot that way. This is one dark cemetery. The director and writer Ed Wood really did not think that one through. And speaking of writing, that's another real problem with this train wreck of a film. It's just awful. I can't believe that Ed Wood got paid for writing such a thing. Your guess is good as mine, Larry. One thing sure. Inspector Clay's dead. Murdered. And somebody's responsible. You're in charge. You see what I mean? It was shaped like a huge cigar. What is he on about? This doesn't look anything like a cigar. I'm not even going to get into the wooden acting. The only noteworthy thing is that this would be horror legend Bela Lugosi's last movie before his death in 1956. In fact, Lugosi actually died during the making of the film. The scenes where he appears in was older footage that was actually meant for a different movie, but which had then been abandoned. And to fill in the scenes that were shot after Bela's death, Ed hired his wife's chiropractor. We can clearly see that this isn't the same person playing the role, and he had to cover his face with a cape in order to try and hide the difference. But getting back to the writing, the plot is also quite weak. It's about a group of aliens who try to alert people of their existence by resurrecting the dead. Once they have done that, they will put the world down on its knees. And they do all so this overall, to try and alert even mankind though this movie is crap, of their scientific still progress, deserves, which will lead to them discovering in our deadly hearts. new and this bomb, is that which will explode one day, the Dr. sun, Edwards, and therefore best the entire universe. universe with it. So how's it going? We have risen too, so far. We well, Earthlings should indeed be petrified. I fully realize our language differences. However, I also know you finally have perfected the dicto robotary, or as you on Earth call it, the language computer, so you can now understand that which I speak. Oh, fair enough. This is why you must be stopped. This is why any means must be used to... Yes, what the hell is this? They are literally communicating with the humans in the exact same language. And in one way or another, with the speed that those ghouls are going at, they shouldn't have to fear for their lives. Anyways, I could go on and on about all the bloopers that make this film such a mess of a motion picture. You can't take this seriously from beginning to the end. It's like the whole movie itself is one big blooper. So yes, it's a very terrible movie, but it's so bad that it's actually gone down as legendary. It's something that has got to be seen in order to be believed. And yes, this is my favorite bad movie. It's just so memorable and cheesy. So no, this isn't the worst movie ever made. I've seen tons and tons of other movies that are far worse and far more boring than Plan 9. We could debate about it being the worst film ever produced on a technical scale, but that's another point. There has also been a colorized version of the movie, as well as a 2015 independent remake, which even features a cameo from Cinemassacre's James Rolfe. So overall, this is definitely director Ed Wood's best worst movie. Turn off your electro gun! No! No! Stop him, Dennis! I can't get it, it's jammed! Stop him, you fool! Drop the gun to the floor, Tanner! 